Moving on to question number two. So it says, find A intersection B for each of the following, where the universal set is the set of all real numbers. So first of all, let's break down the question. Find A intersection B. So it's going to be A and B, and it's going to be the intersection between them. These set notations refer to something that can be drawn as a Venn diagram. So I'm going to do the first one for you so it actually makes some sense. But before I do that, let's have a look at the rest of the wording. So where the universal set? The universal set, uh, so where the universal set is the set of all real numbers. Now, real numbers are basically all of the numbers that you know so far, including the minus uh, numbers, including the square roots as well, rational and irrational. So that's all you need to know. Universal set, I'm going to explain that to you now, and then I'm going to draw the Venn diagram for this, and hopefully that will help us to answer this question. So I've just broken it down into specific wording. This is, uh, it's not perfect, but this is the symbol for the universal set. And the universal set basically means that everything in A and B belong to this universal set. So everything branches off from here. And it's said in the question that the universal set has to be all the set of real numbers. Okay, so all of the real numbers, which is the numbers you know so far, can go into A and B. So what does it look like when it comes to the actual Venn diagram? So your Venn diagram is going to look something like this, where you're going to have set A, A and set B. And that should be crossing over. So that's set A, and that's set B. Okay, now... There's an intersection, of course, it's not drawn fantastic, but there's an intersection between set A and set B. Whatever's in these two circles, including anything that's outside of the two circles as well, that is the universal set. Okay, those are all of the numbers that can be used. So that's what the universal set means in the question. Then you have to go and find what's going to go in circle A and what's going to go in circle B. These circles are actually known as sets. So this is set A and this is set B. Then if you come further down, I've broken it down again. So this A is referring to set A. These curly brackets like this basically mean that this is everything that's going inside set A and this is everything that's going inside set B. Now if these were numbers, okay, let's say this was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that would mean that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 go in set A and if this was 7, 8, 9, 10 then 7, 8, 9, 10 would go in set B but the question is not that simple what it's asking you to do is to work out any value okay so it's saying X is and then it's given you uh, inequality now the issue with this is first of all you're probably looking at it and thinking well why are there two X's and what's all this about here this little colon here well, all it's saying is that you need to find the value of the numbers, okay? And it's just using basic algebra. Whenever you've been introduced to algebra, the first letters that they give you are X and Y. So it's just using algebra to say that this can be any number. Then you have to work out the inequalities. So let's write that again. And let's figure out this inequality first. So it says that X is less than 50, but 0 is less than x. So if 0 is less than x, that means x is going to start at 1. Okay, so 0 is less than x. The next number is number 1. So therefore, that can be x because that still fits the criteria that 0 is less than 1. Then it says x is less than 50. So it can't be 50, but it can be something all the way up to a number that's less than 50 so it can go all the way up to 49 okay so in set a x which stands for any of these numbers here can be a number between 1 and 49 set b so again you're doing the same thing that you did for set a and i'm just going to write the inequality again so it's 30 is less than x and x is less than 100 okay so if 30 is less than x then x should start from 31 
and if x is less than 100 that means x goes all the way up to 99. Now draw the Venn diagram and we know all of the numbers from 1 to 49 belong to set A. So if I was to write them all down it would be all of the numbers between 1 and 49. Okay so I'm just going to cheat and write 1 to 49 here and here in set B we know it's going to be the numbers from 31 to 99. Now what you'll notice is that if you actually draw all of these numbers out and draw all of the numbers out for set B also you'd get some numbers that are in both set A and set B. So there's an overlap here because set A goes up to 49, set B starts from 31. So of course this is 31 all the way up to 99 so it's going to include the number 49 as well. So what they both have in common is the numbers 31 to 49. So this actually belongs in the intersection and don't forget the intersection was the thing that we're trying to find because it said find A intersection B. So now we've found the numbers that go in A intersection B based on the criteria that's given for set A and set B. So your final answer for intersection B equals X. So don't forget this is going to go in the curly brackets is uh, 31, 32, 33 and keep going. You have to make sure that you write out all the numbers though and including 49 and then close the curly brackets. X, now you have to think about this. Um, let's put X here just like they did there is less than. So what number is less than X? Well it's 30 because x can be 31 and what number is bigger than x well x can be 49 so it's the next number which is 50 and close the brackets there so x can be any number that fills this inequality here where x is less than 30 and 50 is greater than x now it wouldn't be correct to use this one here uh, this answer here the actual answer is the second one because it did say in the question um, all real numbers and real numbers can be rational or irrational so for example you could have the square root of 32 so if you have written them out as 31 32 33 you're actually missing some of the numbers in between which um, makes the answer incomplete so make sure that you write your answer as it's shown over here these should be a bit more straightforward now and you don't really necessarily have to draw out the Venn diagram if you just read the inequality. So set A, 20 is less than X, okay, so X starts from 21 and it goes up to 30 because it's X is less than and including 30, so 21 up to the number 30 and set B, it's 30 in including so x is uh, 30 is less than x and also inclusive so it's 30 um, all the way up to well x is less than 100 so it goes up to 99 um, so that as you can see there's only going to be one number that's in both set a and in set b and that is the number 30 as you can see from meeting the criteria of the inequalities so this question you would just write number 30 the only thing that's shared in set A and set B. So question C, X is uh, less than or equal to 100 and then set B, X is less than or equal to 50. Now if you had all of the numbers here it would be or they could be sorry from um, anything up to 99. Okay sorry it be anything up to 100 not 99 because it's including as well and then here it would be anything up to 50 now because we don't know um, whether there are any square roots uh, in between there as well our answer we are just going to leave as X 
and x is less than or including so x is less than and including sorry 50 okay so that means that it could even go into negatives etc but you're just putting the upper limit on there because it's what fits into both set a and set b question d so it says um, x is less than 50 so anything up to the number 49 um, and then here x is greater than 60 so it's going to be 61 onwards okay so if you look at this there isn't going to be anything that both sets share because the numbers cut off here at 49 and the numbers start here at 61 so in this case um, you could write a zero with a line through it which basically means that there is uh, which basically means that it's an empty set and there's nothing that is shared between set A and set B the last one now so X is greater than 20 so that's going to be 21 onwards and this is um, X is less than or equal to anything up to 150 so of course the numbers that set A and set B share are the numbers 21 all the way up to 150 so what you have to write here is X and don't forget that this is uh, saying that X is greater than 20 so when we write our inequality it's going to be you always put the X in the middle um, go for the highest value first is less than or equal to 150 but this part here needs to be changed because now you're doing it the opposite way so something is less than x well 20 is less than x since x starts at 21